image to text ratio. Okay, um, and this is another test that I recently did. So here was another company. This and these were three versions of their email. Now, basically, what they were working with in their database is that they could identify that about 21% of all the people on their email list were using Gmail. Okay, now Gmail is notorious for hating large images. Okay, they've admitted it. Everybody knows it. They assume if there's a lot of images embedded in the email, it's a promotional email, and they're going to treat it as such. And the main reason that is, that's not how one-on-one -on -one people communicate with each other. When was the last time you were talking to a friend or a business colleague and embedded a huge image in your email? So anytime they see large images, um, they you know treat it as promotional. So across the board, about one out of every five people that were on their database were on Gmail. Now, with, um, with the example on the left, about 6% of all the opens that were occurring on Gmail. So even though it was 21% of the list, it was on, Gmail was only, people on Gmail were only counting about 6% of the opens. Now, when I went to a pretty much 95% text, that number spiked quite a bit. So 21% of the re recipients were on Gmail, but now they accounted for about 17% of the opens. And then when I had about a 60-40 um, split or so, um, it, it stayed about 16%. So not really changing the articles and what was being shared, but just changing that image to text ratio. And just by doing that, the overall open rate, so taking all the list, as you can see, jumped dramatically, okay? And here's an interesting fact, which I don't share on this slide. And going back to Lauren's point, the middle one that was 100% text, yes, we really improved open rates quite a bit going 100% text, but that had an astronomically lower click-through rate than the example all the way on the left that had only 6% of all the opens. And the example all the way on the right had the same click-through rate as the one all the way on the left. So going to Lauren's point, just because you're getting more opens doesn't mean necessarily mean more clicks. And that's really the next step you want to um, take that to is really thinking about, well, what's my clicks? What's